Bad news for Elon Musk. SpaceX's Starship project is currently running out of fuel to power it up. To make the matter worse, Tesla tech also can't help this time. Will Elon Musk have to postpone the project for now? Or does he have some other ideas to keep it going in full-fledged? Hello and welcome to Elon Musk Evolution. If you're a Musk fan and don't want to miss anything about this incredible person, then smack the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. In today's video, we are going to talk about why Tesla tech can't power SpaceX's Starship as explained by Elon Musk. Elon Musk is now the CEO of two of the world's most innovative firms. Musk co-founded Tesla, an electric automobile firm that aims to shift the globe to sustainable energy. His second company, SpaceX, aims to make humans a multi-planetary species with a focus on settling on Mars. The two firms, which were once little startups on the verge of bankruptcy, have evolved into industry behemoths. Tesla has risen to be the world's most valuable automaker in terms of market value. Even more astonishing, SpaceX has grown to be the undisputed leader in the rocket launch industry. Musk's space company currently accounts for around 75% of all rocket launches worldwide. All commercial space firms and nation-states are included in this. Despite the extraordinary success of both businesses, there remains one major discrepancy between Musk's declared objectives. Tesla intends to wean humanity off of fossil fuels as a source of energy. Meanwhile, SpaceX's continuous success necessitates the use of increasing amounts of methane and RP-1, a highly refined type of kerosene akin to jet fuel, to power its rockets. Several people have pointed out this disparity over the years, wondering if SpaceX might include some of Tesla's technology to make the former more sustainable. Musk has previously stated that all modes of transportation would ultimately be electrified except spaceflight. He has never offered a concrete number as to why rockets should always remain the exception. At least, such was the case until today. In answer to space YouTuber and Tesla owner Everyday Astronaut, the Tesla CEO provided further information. Everyday Astronaut requested a good source on the weight output of the Tesla Model S Plaid motor on Twitter to demonstrate why electric motors cannot be utilized to power rocket engines. Musk responded by stating that the turbo pumps, essentially the pumps that move fuel from the rocket tanks to the combustion chamber for SpaceX's most recent engine Raptor, had a pump output of over 100 MW. Every spaceship will have 33 engines, which means the motors need to provide 3 gigawatts of power. To put this in context, the Model S Plaid has three motors with a combined power output of roughly 300 kilowatts, which implies that 10,000 Model S Plaid motors would be required to power a single Starship. To make matters worse, turbo pumps in rockets operate on the same fuel as the primary combustion chamber, but if you opt to employ electric motors, you will need to store that energy in the form of batteries. The batteries alone required to power the spacecraft would be several times the weight of the entire rocket. Furthermore, all of these motors and batteries are only required to replace the propellant pumping system from the fuel tank to the primary combustion chamber. As a result, the rocket will still need to run on fossil fuels. The lunacy of the number of motors and batteries required to power a single rocket should put to rest any dreams SpaceX has of building a long-lasting rocket utilizing Tesla's technology. Nonetheless, the ambition that the two businesses would one day merge into a single entity and work together to develop an electric vertical takeoff vertical landing plane remains alive. As of now, this potential appears to be a long way off. Previously at a delivery event in Fremont, California, Tesla first unveiled this new Model S Plaid. For the first time, business CEO Elon Musk disclosed the firm's new electric motor technology. Tesla claims a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 1.99 seconds, a quarter mile time of 9.23 seconds, and a peak speed of 200 miles per hour. The Model S was first shown in January, but the company didn't go into great detail about many of the upgrades. Tesla's new V3 supercharger is restricted to 250 kilowatts, although Musk suggested that it would soon be increased to 280 kilowatts, 300 kilowatts, and 350 kilowatts. The business has also developed its acoustic glass, which the CEO claims would significantly reduce cabin sounds, which have previously been a problem with Tesla vehicles. Elon Musk is frustrated with SpaceX's slow progress in creating the Raptor engines that will propel its Starship rocket. In a company-wide email sent the day after Thanksgiving, he outlined a grim situation, 
which CNBC received a copy of. Musk stated, The Raptor manufacturing situation is significantly worse than it appeared a few weeks ago. Musk subsequently added, We face a true danger of bankruptcy if we don't accomplish a Starship flying rate of at least once every two weeks next year. SpaceX is working on a gigantic next-generation rocket called Starship that will be used to carry freight and people on trips to the Moon and Mars. The business is putting prototypes through their paces at a facility in southern Texas and has already completed several brief test flights. However, to advance to orbital launches, each rocket prototype will require up to 39 Raptor engines, necessitating a rapid increase in engine output. Musk's note to SpaceX staff clarifies the importance of former Vice President of Propulsion Will Heltzley's resignation earlier this month. According to CNBC, Heltzley was removed from Raptor development before he departed, and Musk said in his email that the company's leadership has been investigating the program's flaws since then, revealing the situation to be substantially more severe than Musk had previously imagined. SpaceX did not reply to CNBC's request for comment right away. CNBC reached out to Heltzley for comment, but he did not answer. Space Explored, a subsection of the technology site, was the first to report on the email of SpaceX's founder and CEO. In the email, Musk stated that he would be taking the lengthy Thanksgiving holiday off. Musk, however, stated that after learning of the Raptor crisis, he will personally work on the engine production line through Friday night and into the weekend. To recover from what is very plainly a disaster, we need all hands on deck, Musk wrote. The billionaire creator has consistently stated that the most challenging aspect of building SpaceX's massive rocket is production. With many prototypes in the works, the business has progressively built up its Starship manufacturing and testing facility in Boca Chica, Texas. Musk announced on November 17 that SpaceX plans to ideally fly the first orbital Starship voyage in January or February, subject to FAA certification and technical readiness. Starship will be reusable, with both the rocket and its booster capable of landing and being retrieved for future missions, according to SpaceX. The Falcon 9 rockets from SpaceX are partially reusable. The business can land and relaunch the boosters regularly, but not the rocket's top part or stage. Musk admitted earlier this month that he wasn't sure if Starship will reach orbit on its first attempt, but that he is certain that the rocket will reach orbit in 2022. At the time, he also stated that Starship development is at least 90% internally financed thus far, with the business not anticipating any international collaboration or outside funding. SpaceX has secured billions of dollars in investment for both Starship and its satellite internet project Starlink in recent years, with the company's worth recently reaching $100 billion. Even though SpaceX has put about 1,700 Starlink satellites into orbit, Musk claims that the initial iteration of the satellite is financially poor. Starlink's customer base has been constantly rising, with around 140,000 members paying $99 per month for service. SpaceX announced enhancements for the second version of the satellite earlier this year, with Musk writing in an email that V2 is powerful, but that it can only be launched with its Starship rockets. SpaceX has launched Starlink satellites with its Falcon 9 rockets so far, but Musk stated that the rockets lack the bulk and volume required to deploy the second-generation satellites properly. We can always keep faith in this genius mind. He would figure things out. Let's see what happens next. Also, let us know what you think of the battery in the comments. Okay, folks, that's it for today's video. If you're interested in watching more videos on Elon Musk, then what are you waiting for? Simply click the subscribe button and ring the bell icon because new videos are on the way.